I've been shooting wedding videos for over 20 years now, started with a mini DV tape, big old cameras, all the way to now to mirrorless camera, including sometimes my red Komodo. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I carry with me to all my wedding video gigs. Check this out. What's up guys, Marion from Camera to Freedom. If you use your camera to take photos and videos and make YouTube video content so that you can live a life of freedom, then hit that like and subscribe and come on, let's go. So guys, I've been shooting with us for over 20 years and I feel like I've done it all. All kinds of audio equipment, all kinds of lighting, cameras, and so on. I've brought a bunch of different tripods and all kinds of gears. But as I'm getting older, being mobile is the most important thing first and then my equipment, right? Because I mean, I got friends right now that carry suitcases with big old wheels to all the wedding video gigs and it's very exhausting to keep that up constantly when you're out there shooting for eight hours in a day if not longer sometimes right so i carry with me the most minimal equipment but so that i could be very mobile because getting ready and ceremony and reception sometimes is at different locations and you want to be just quick so that way you could be mobile and get to the next spot without having to spend so long packing up and unpacking right so i'm going to share with you guys all the gears that i carry with me so that way maybe you could get some ideas for yourself as well too. First off, cameras. So I've used it all. I sometimes like to shoot my weddings with my red Komodo. I got black magic, Nikon, you know, I got the Panasonics. So I've just messed around with so many different cameras, but in the very end, I still love my Panasonic GH5 II. GH6 is out, so if I didn't have this camera, I would definitely go with the Panasonic GH6 Micro Four Third Sensor. And here are just a few of the reasons why. First off, super light, right? I mean, it's the smallest camera. I have the cage on, it could be lighter, but with a cage, uh, it's still super light. Check out the 70 to 200 equivalent of the Micro Four Third, right? So if I was full frame, this is what I would be carrying. This is my absolute favorite lens. It makes the people look beautiful, very cinematic because it blows out the background and especially during ceremony time you could really zoom in and get that close-up of the bride the groom crying the ring shot without having to go up close to them and bothering everybody by blocking the view right so if you're a wedding videographer photographer please one of my pet peeves don't go up right in front of them blocking the view from everybody just because you need to get your shot be polite let everybody enjoy the wedding you can still get your shot without having to block uh, the crowd from being able to enjoy the wedding as well too, right? So <laughs> wedding etiquette is very important for me and definitely I highly recommend uh, you learn the manners of the wedding video. So out of all my cameras, this is one of the very few cameras that could continuously record without stopping. So I do have half full of my other cameras, Nikon and uh, I got what, Nikon and even a lot of the Sony cameras out there. After 25 to 30 minutes, the video will stop. So you need to stop and restart your camera. And if you forget to do so, then you just missed out. Because a lot of times during the wedding ceremony, I have three video cameras running at all times. I got angle in the back, one face in the bride, one face in the groom. So that way when I give them a final ceremony video, I have three angles to give them a very beautiful cinematic wedding ceremony video. So that means that none of my cameras cannot stop after 30 minutes because I mean like Catholic weddings and some weddings go beyond 30 minutes, right? So you don't want to stress about remembering to stop and record your camera. So all my Panasonic cameras from GH5 to GH5, GH6, including my Panasonic full frame S5 will record continuously without any problem. Third reason why I love my GH5 too is that I love to shoot in 4K 60 frames per second and at that setting it doesn't punch in with my wide angle lens it still keeps it at wide angle a lot of the uh, cameras that's out there right now full frame especially when you are at 4k 60 frames it will punch in it will give you an APS-C uh, crop so if, if you have yourself a 24 to 70 wide angle lens and you want to use that 4k 60 fps setting then it's going to crop into equipment to like 35 millimeter instead of being able to get that super wide angle cinematic gimbal shot that you might want. So if that's important to you, then this is one of the reasons why I love carrying this kind of camera instead. And of course, I do have a gimbal. This is one of, one of the best. DJI gimbal is one of my favorite. It's one of the most expensive ones out of all the gimbals, right? But it's because it's the best uh, to me, right? It's, it carries the most payload. Um, it's got so many cool functionalities. 
So I definitely recommend you spending a little extra to get the DJI brand. Plus it's carbon fiber. The material is looks like it's carbon fiber. It's really light. So especially when you're shooting a wedding video all day and you want to hold your gimbal, it it's really nice to have a lightweight gimbal DJI RS2. I think there's already an RS3 out right now. This is very light, but super strong enough to hold even biggest full frame camera with its biggest lens. I have so many lights and I'm always having a good time just buying lights, right? I mean, it's always getting better every year. Just a couple of years ago, my lights were just straight up boring lights. Battery, turn it on, warm, done. That's, I mean, that's all it does. But every light nowadays is a computer. This light here is from WeLight. Uh, I got two lights from WeLight that I'm gonna highly recommend. They're very modern, super light, right? This is a barn door light right here. It already has a diffuser in the front. That is the downfall too, because you can't take out the diffuser to make it extra stronger, but it's already strong as it is. So this diffuser is stuck on there. Some plastic, but some metal, and I'm thinking that's because it helps with the heat. It is pretty strong. One of the reasons why I love this light is because it connects to my app and I will leave it on, connect to my app, turn it off during ceremony time. And when it's time for me to start filming the first dance or, you know, people dancing or cake cutting, instead of me going over there, bringing down the light, because it's always on a long tripod that's really high, so it's not blinding people. It's high up and facing down. You don't want it to be low and facing them, because I have had, I've done that before, and people have complained, like, excuse me, your light is like facing directly to my face. Nobody likes that, so I have it up facing down so it's not blinding anybody. So instead of me bringing that down and then turning it on and bringing it back up and then, you know, locking it in and getting to my spot, I just tech on my phone, boom, turn it on and I'm ready to go. So I love that feature. And out of all my lights that I have, this WeLight brand connects to my phone the fastest. So for example, my other light, if I walk away or if I turn off the phone, put it in my pocket, it disconnects. So when I turn it on, sometimes it takes longer than others to reconnect so that way you could use your app to turn it on and off, right? But this one is instant. It's the fastest connection that I have once I turn off my phone or if I walk away and come back, it connects the fastest. So it's very convenient, super quick connection that does make a huge difference when you need to get that light on for the cake cutting or something very important that you need that light on because you don't want it on the whole time, right? People have spent so much money setting up the mood. It's dimmed down. They have up lighting. So, so that way it has that romantic vibe to it. And you don't want to be that videographer that just brines the whole reception area because you got to make sure you get your shot. Don't do that. I have seen videographers do that. Like I said, it's all about that wedding etiquette, right? It's all about having that manner and being polite and making sure that they come first. And then you could try to do your best to get your shot without having to interrupt the wedding. Okay, so this light is absolutely amazing. Also, it, it, it has the full spectrum of light. It's not just warm and white. It actually has every single color that you could possibly imagine. Using the app, you could pick a color that you could even like point to an item, a color, turn that color light on. It's got light effects, lightning effect. It's got a little uh, flame, you know, uh, flickering effect. Uh, it's got a TV flickering effect. It's got fireworks in case you do short films and you want to create that mood for your short film. So that's really cool. It's also powered by NP batteries, two NP batteries. Doesn't drain the battery that much. So, like I said, super light. I highly recommend it. And also a second light. This company, We Light, is one of my favorite. I've been using their items for years. They're so focused on lights. They have so many different cool lights, right? This is a We Light too. How crazy is that? And this is magnetic. My table is made out of metal. You could stick it here. You could find a metal wall and stick. Anyways, I wasn't really promoting this light, but this is also We Light too. So <laughs> I do sometimes take that light for a wedding gig if I want to be even more mobile. But it's not, of course, strong as this guy. So sometimes you really need that strength. This little guy is dope. All it does is just turn on and turn off. I have this mount permanently stuck on top of my camera. You put it on top of your camera, just like this, and now you're shooting a reception dance. You go up, you turn the light, and you start recording them, 
And that way you have light for yourself and it's not that strong that people are gonna be blinded, but just enough that you get your shot. When you have the camera in front of them, you know, you tell them what you got, show me what you got <laughs> and encourage them. They start dancing even more in front of you. So like a lot of, some are shy, but there are a lot of people who love to show off and, and who doesn't want to be on a video? Who doesn't want to be on TV, right? So it's really cool to uh, carry this super light, you know, portable, put in your pocket, put in your bag, just have it with you anywhere. I use it for my Tesla videos when I just mount it on a tiny little holder and just put it next to me inside of my Tesla video. So many creative things you can do with this tiny light. So I will put the 10% uh, discount or whatever the discount is for the moment, link below. And if you guys do buy it from me, I appreciate you so very much for that. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, yeah, I will put that discount code link below. So thank you. I've, it doesn't matter how much I make right now. I grew up poor, so I'm always about just saving money, getting the best product for its price. Sometimes you have to spend the money, like cameras, for example. But if there are accessories like an audio recorder that you could save a little money by not having to get the most expensive recorder, then I do it, right? So for this particular one, I do have a Zoom H1N, very small, very light. It, I always plug this to the uh, DJ mixer or the speaker. You always wanna carry a recorder with you because you wanna double it up. During the ceremony, I have a wireless mic on the groom and the efficient, and I'm also plugged into the DJ because sometimes when you plug into the DJ, it's not perfect. Something goes wrong where the DJ would mess up with the output and the, it, everything becomes really static. So because you, you are at their mercy, you're, sometimes you're not going to get the quality that you're hoping for. So you back it up by making sure that the uh, efficient and the groom has a wireless mic. And make sure you carry two cables, right? So this one, you got the quarter inch to, of course, the little 3.5 millimeter jack that goes into the zoom recorder. And that's sometimes, sometimes uh, the mixer has a quarter inch. But most of the time, the mixer has a female XLR uh, so you want to get this one to the 3.5 to connect to the audio recorder. So very important to have. I have so many wireless mics. I've bought, sold so many of them, right? But now the latest wireless mic that's out right now is the DJI wireless mic. This is one of my favorite. It's super small. It comes with its own charger and a case that you put it inside and it's going to charge it. I'm using this right now for my camera angle too that's on a mechanical slider right now to try to get the best cinematic video for my YouTube video. So I have my camera on a mechanical slider and there's my camera right there, half a day. There's a lot of good wireless mics nowadays. There's so many cheap ones, tiny ones like this on Amazon. You could get them for like 75 bucks, 150 bucks. And this one I think is a little bit over $350 for DJ, but I love them. Quality is super good. It comes with two mics, so you could one for the groom, one for the efficient. And if you want to mute someone, you could actually mute each of the mics on its own. So that's really neat. I love that feature. And also the best feature, the number one feature why I went with the most expensive uh, wireless tiny mics is because of this little magnet. It, this thing is crazy. No other microphone that I know of has it. And I've been Googling to, to see if I could save some money being the cheap man that I am. But this thing comes with a tiny little magnet just like this, right? And you could put under the shirt and you could put a magnet on it. That's crazy, right? Look how cool that is. Look how efficient that is. So I love it. It's super strong magnet for this tiny thing. I've been to situations where I would have a speaker on a podium and all of a sudden he starts walking around to the next podium. So I would run out and get out and I'll stick it right onto the podium and get capture good audio. So that magnet alone is what made me want to get it. So yeah, I'm sure you could rig a magnet to any of the wireless mics, but Super convenient. So I wasn't going to add this, but I was like, you know what? I need to hook it up for Peak Design. Peak Design is my favorite brand for bags. Look how cool this is. I mean, it's so versatile. You put it around your shoulder, it's a sling bag. And then when you need to just bring it out to the front, boom, it's waterproof, rainproof. The zipper is rainproof. Take all your stuff out zip it up and you put it back and there's so many things you can do with this bag it's crazy it's it's absolutely insane there's so much feature for just the bag and it's just not for photographers it's for everyday use so i love them and they're so awesome my warranty just ran out and something broke like the zipper didn't work 
And when I contacted them, they were like, you know what? Just send it over. We'll take care of you. We're going to send you another bag. So their warranty is absolutely amazing. I could not believe it. I was sure they weren't gonna hook me up with that, but they did. I'm definitely a loyal customer because of the awesome customer service. And I do have their bigger sling bag, which is really cool too. I mean, you could sling it, you could put it on the side, and when you're ready, you bring it out to the front, boom, take care of it, boom, and then you put it back. So it's got so many different functionalities for a photographer and a videographer. So I highly recommend Peak Design. I use all their straps for my camera too. So if you haven't heard of Peak Design, YouTube search them. They are absolutely amazing. Their stuff, there's like hundreds of functions that you can do with just that one tiny bag. It's not just a bag. So if you haven't heard of it, you will be blown away by Peak Design. So check them out and I highly recommend their gears. One more, drone. Okay, drone. Get your drone. Get yourself an FAA license for your drone because for fun, you could fly legally for fun, but if you're making the money and you're doing it as business, you definitely want to get your license so that way you're doing it legally. There's something about that energy of you just doing it professionally will also give you gigs for drones as well too, right? There's something about that. If you're kind of shooting around illegally without a license, something, I don't know. I have friends who don't have license that has drone. They almost never get any drone gigs. But the friends that I got FA license, they seem to be getting some serious drone gigs. There's something about the energy in the world. You put out all this positive, hard work, good energy, and in return, you get that back, right? So that's how it works, right? You put in the hard work, the momentum, you get a lot of gigs. If you don't, and you think you could just do a cheap illegal way or you know kind of like bum way and just trying to cut corners then it's going to show in your work it's going to show in the amount of customers that you get always put your best foot forward and do the best work you can no matter what you do even if i got clients who pays me like Sometimes I book a gig for like hundreds some hundreds of dollars, right? Just hundreds of dollars instead of the typical thousands that you'd normally get as a videographer. Great thing about being a videographer, by the way. You can make some good money. But it doesn't matter how much my client pays me. I'm always going to put in my 100% effort and just give the best product I possibly can. So you're always practicing to be the very best. Because your client is being cheap or whatever, don't try to cheap yourself and by giving them the worst quality you know, because they're paying less, right? You don't want to do that. You want to always have a habit of doing your best work no matter what. And in the end, it's going to turn around. It's going to be a good karma for you. So if you watch this all the way through, I appreciate you so very much. Please leave a comment below. I would love to say what's up. Just say hi. Definitely will help out with my algorithm. So that's really cool. Um, I do have a Koji link below if you would like to buy my How to Photograph a Wedding ebook. And I do have some photography actions and you know cool things like that so i got a koji link below if you want to support your brother right over here so that i could keep doing what i love and sharing everything i can with photography and video so in hopes that i could help you take go to that next level as well too right that's uh, as we're getting older what else can we do but to pass whatever we learn down and in hopes and in returns that you get to help somebody uh you know grow we, i didn't get that when i was 20 years ago there was no internet 20 years ago so i was learning from a person and but i was lucky enough to have friends like van for example who took me under his wings and taught me everything and, and so on anyways pass it forward and just real quick guys if you guys are interested in getting some free training videos on photography video drone and all these things you can do with your camera so that way you can live the life of freedom then go to my website cameratofreedom.com hook me up with your name and your email and i will send you every once in a while some cool stuff and if you do welcome to camera to freedom hit that like and subscribe and i will see you next time